Hi, this is Srishail. I am a final year undergraduate student presently pursuing my bachelor's in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering from and Basveshwar Engineering College, Bagal Court. I am highly interested or my research area is Renewable Energy System. Today I am discussing about Wind Energy and Wind Power Plant. Okay. So, why we are going to discuss about the wind energy conversion system? Here, nowadays, it is very important role for the generating the electrical energy. Because the conventional energy sources is not sufficient to meet out the electrical low demand. So, at the time, automatically, we will move to discuss about the next alternative source that is an renewable energy system in a renewable energy system a lot of sources there but when compared to the other renewable energy system the wind is acting as a very dominant role for the generating the electrical energy so that here most of the countries not only india taking a lot of uh, researches activities related to wind energy conversion system okay Next, I will going to discuss about the introduction to energy. In today life, the electrical energy has become an part and parcel of human life. The civilization of mankind is closely interlinked with energy. The energy is the one of the necessities for the economical development of the nation. Energy is the important input to all the sector of any country. The economical development of the country is depending upon the energy because the standard of living of human being is directly related to per capita energy consumption. Many forms of energies are available. But out of all these forms of energy, the present day living of a human being is depending upon a very important form of energy that is an electrical energy. In today life, the electrical energy has become an integral part of the life. The electrical energy can be used for different fields such as the domestic, industrial, agriculture, commercial and irrigation purpose. Nowadays, world is facing energy crisis because of the rapidly increasing the population of the world day by day and increasing the standard of living of human being because of which human being is consuming more and more energy because than in own requirements. Because of increasing the demand more and more, the generation of electricity using fossil fuels such as coal, oil and gas, making these sources depleted quickly. There is always danger that these sources may be exacerbated totally at the end of the century. So, now necessary to think of some other types of renewable energy, other types of energy resources which can be successfully replaced and reused. This type of energy sources is called as a renewable energy sources. The renewable energy sources means the source which are available pre in nature. The source which can produce energy continuously, inexhaustible, non-pollutant, free of cost, longer life. This type of energy sources is called as a renewable energy sources. The example for renewable energy sources is solar energy, wind energy, tidal, geothermal, biomass, biogas, ocean wave energy, etc. Out of all these form of renewable energy sources, the wind is found to be the major energy source and it has the greatest efficient of any other renewable energy resources. Okay, this is all about introduction to energy. Next going to very important and very interesting concept, importance of wind energy. The wind is a form of solar energy which is produced because of the uneven heating of the earth by the sun. The wind is a renewable energy. It helps to clean the environmental clean. The wind energy can be used for sailing, grinding grains and generation of electricity etc. 
the wind turbines can convert kinetic energy in the wind kinetic energy into mechanical energy the generator can convert mechanical energy into electricity and the wind is a pre clean inexhaustible source for energy for power production reduce the depends on the fossil fuels including the important oils and other pollutant and reduce the emission of greenhouse gas and other pollutant okay the wind is a renewable non conventional non depleted sustainable energy sources the quantum of energy associated with wind is wind is enormous it was the first natural source used by the mankind the wind is one of the most environmental friendly and economically viable source for the energy the wind power causes no air as well as water pollution also the electricity produced from wind do not emit the co2 hence no greenhouse gas is affected the wind energy is harnessed as mechanical energy can be used for two purpose first one for operation of mechanical devices like water pumps appliances and useful for farming and another one is for generation of electrical energy the wind is nothing but an air shut in motion in general over the land area of earth the wind is generated is about wind energy 1.65 into 10 raised to 5 kilowatt hour and in hilly and coastal area the average wind speed is greater than than in land the wind blow more constantly with greater strength over the surface of earth has the surface drag is less okay the wind speed is increases with increase in height as height increases the dragging effect of the earth surface is reduced and the wind power is depending upon the density of the air and area of the rotor and wind speed the mathematical expression is wind power equal to half pav cube p means density of the air in kilogram per meter cube and a means area of the rotor production shift by the indian wind in kilometer square and v means wind velocity or wind speed in meter per second okay this is all about importance of wind energy next i will going to discuss about very interesting concept history of wind energy the wind is a by product of solar energy approximately 2% is of sun energy is reaching the earth is converted into wind energy the wind has played an important role in the history of human civilization the first known wind dates back of 5000 years of egypt where boats or sails traveled from shore to shore in the first two windmill or machine with vans attached to an axis to produce circular motion may have been built built as early as 2000 okay next going to around 1910 the first wind turbines were built in europe after the wind power in india being in the 1986 with first wind farm were built in being in coastal area of maharashtra gujarat and tamil nadu with 55 kw vestas wind turbines the capacity has significantly increased in the last few years and the year of 1990 is the first the wind farm spread in us uk and denmark slow steady growth in asia and europe and the year of 1995 to 2000 the commercial wind turbine rotors get up to a diameter of 55 meters and get up to a capacity of 750 kW 10 times more than approximately 10 years ago and the year of 1990 year year, year of 1998 the global wind power capacity reaches up to 10200 MW and the year of 2000 the global wind power capacity reaches up to 17400 MW okay this is all about history of wind energy and uh, okay today i will uh, conclude this next class i will going to discuss about very important and interesting concept basic components of wind energy conversion system this session we will discuss about what is the main function of rotor ya mechanism ya ya drive and uh, what is the height weight length of blade and which type of sensors are used 
and which type of generator, gearbox, controllers, what is cutting wind speed, cutout wind speed. This is all about uh, in uh, discussing next class very briefly. Uh, oh, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.